Hi guys and welcome to a for loop tutorial in C sharp. See, in the case of for loop, it's just when you know the exact how many times you actually want to loop around the block of codes. That's what for loop is all about. Now let me show you guys how it works. So if I click on for loop, you can see it generated the multiplication timetable. 12 times table so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to exit out of here and let's start a new project entirely so let's click on create new and select C sharp let's give that a name I'm going to call it CS underscore for for loop click on create now my development environment is ready. I'm going to click on the toolbox here and let's select panel. Just place that panel that much. I'm going to copy this very one and just drag it all the way and paste the copied one in there. There we go. We need two of those. there we go yeah and change the border style for all of them to 3d fix 3d the one that is more or less like the parent is very one I'm going to change that to let's change the color of that to color blue there Oh, these other ones they should not be connected. I want to change them back to control. There we go, and that's it. So now I'm now going to add some components. Go back to my toolbox, let's pin that down, and I'm going to select list, list box. We have a list box here and I need a label here up here then a text box one text box here and a button there we go I'm going to change the size of this button to 56 the font size let's make that 56 bold 56 there and the name is going to be BCN for loop there we go and the text content I'm going to change that to for loop as well there this text box I'm going to change that to TXT for loop right and let's change the font size to something readable as well uh, let's go for about 36 and bold come right down here and get it centered move it up label let's change that to enter a number and change that to 36 as well make it readable there all right now this label on uh, this list box let's change the details of that list box to LST for loop and that's it I'm gonna increase the font size as well let's increase the font size to something a little bit readable we can make that maybe about 20 there we go right so that's taken care of now let's double click on this button to put together some lines of codes so like i said earlier the for loop is actually when you know how many times you want the loop to go around the block of codes so i'm going to start by first of all let's declare a variable in there so i'm going to even say for int i 
So I'm going to say the value of i right now is equals 1. The first time you go, before you go run the loop is 1. Then enter semicolon, then we then say i is less than 13. Okay, it is less than 13. We can also then just enter i plus plus, so which means increment i. And that's all there is to it. So we just need to come down here, enter your curly braces, and then enter lst loop dot add item. There we go. That's it done. You've just finished your for loop. That's how easy it is. If I run the program right now, this is what you guys will see. There we go. If you click on this, that will generate one to twelve. Okay, so let's move this down a little bit. Now, let's convert it to multiplication timetable. But before then, I want to just adjust this a little bit more. Now, double click on the for loop again, the bottom for loop. And in here, because I want to convert it to scientific calculator, I'm going to start by entering plus sign. The plus sign I'll be using that to get it concatenated. So concatenation means I just want E to be side by side, just join them together. So I'm going to say multiply. Now I can copy this. And what am I multiplying with? So that should actually be, let's create another variable in there. I'm going to say Q, that would be equals convert. Convert whatever we have in there in the text box to. Let's get that converted to an integer. So that's what I've just done in there. So in here, the concatenation will be to concatenate I and Q. So let's copy this again, paste it right here. And we then say equals, enter equals in there. And this is it would then be this will then be I multiplied by Q. And that's all. You've just created your own multiplication timetable using a for loop. That's how easy it is. Now, let's save that and run it. Run. There we go. It's coming up. There, enter a value in there. I'm just going to enter maybe 12. Click on run. There we go. That's your multiplication timetable. And that's how you create a multiplication timetable or that's how you create a loop for loop and convert it to a multiplication timetable in C sharp. Those are the lines of codes. So with that guys, I'm going to call it the end of this uh, beginner for loop tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoyed. You all have a nice day now. And bye for now.